Welcome into our holiday tournament preview edition of Beyond the Arc here on High School Cube News. Brian Shimino back with you with Michael O'Brien of the Chicago Sun Times. Could take a look at three big tournaments, starting with the big one at Proviso West. The annual tournament was 32 teams the last couple of years. They chopped 14 out, and now they have a very unusual 18 team field with your top seeds. Number one, Stevenson. Number two, St. Joe's. Three, St. Rita. And number four is Kenwood. Wow, this current Proviso West tournament is just loaded. I mean, getting one of those first two seeds is key because those should be fairly easy games for Stevenson and St. Joe's in the first round. Everybody else, who knows? You can't even pick it. I mean, you have Maine South and Uplift have to play. Hinsdale Central and Proviso East. Kenwood and Morton. I mean, who knows? It just The whole way down, the first day is spectacular. Every single game, except for maybe two in this tournament, it could go either way. It's going to be really fun. It's too bad Morgan Park split. They're down in Carbondale because if Morgan Park was there, it would have kind of had that feel that that tournament had in like maybe 10 years ago where he had John Shire and all those guys playing. Yeah, they still have, they do have the star. Jalen Brunson going to take it all the way. He's going to go for a dunk. They have Brunson. They have the biggest star in the area for the first time in a lot of years. And that's really what Proviso needs to have the juice. And if St. Joe's can play well, you know, you can have Glenn Watson, Nick Rekasevic, all those guys against Brunson maybe in the title. But really, who knows? It's going to be really difficult for Stevenson and St. Joe's to even get to the, this title game. It's not like the last three or four years where they're just going to coast through. Every game's going to be a battle. Don't be surprised if you wind up with a crazy Hinsdale Central Rockford Auburn final or something in this. I think it's really that tight. And it's pretty cool that the Proviso West tournament, their championship game is the 27th, which means the entire tournament is completely finished by the time the Pontiac tournament kicks off the very next day on the 28th. And nice segue, 84th annual Pontiac holiday tournament downstate top seeds down there obviously you have Simeon at number one uh, number two will be Curry number three is Plainfield North who we mentioned last week and number four will be West Aurora unlike Proviso West Pontiac is kind of hit the skids this year <laughs> it's not real great the worst field really we've seen in a long time however it's still my favorite tournament it's still somehow they will find a way to make magic out of this group of teams and it'll be great Simeon is the clear runaway favorite <laughs> It would be shocking if they did not win this. It's hard to see anybody there that can come within 10, 15, 20 points of them. However, everything else is going to be close. I mean, I don't think Curie, Plainfield North, and West Aurora are that much better than a lot of the other teams in it. So those are going to be fun games to watch. And there are some stars to see. You know, we've talked a bit about Trevor Stump. Elijah Joyner from Curie. This could be a big coming out party for him. We all know about Josh Stamps, but Elijah Joyner is putting up really good numbers. He's a really fun player to watch. There's a young Joliet West team that has some stuff. Bloom, which has gone through some weirdness this year, they might want to prove something. And the dunk instead! They could be fun to watch. St. Charles North is always fun. We will find out a lot about West Aurora. Roland Griffin missed some games. He was suspended, so they lost some games. Dropped out of the rankings. West Aurora is the team with the most to prove. If they can get through and make a nice run, they could really rise up the rankings quickly. Let's move on to Rich South, the McDipper. No more Tyler Eulis to run rampant along with Marion Central. This bracket is headlined by Hales and Thornton as the two favorites. Unlike Proviso West, no one at the McDipper cares who was there what stars there are. That thing is going to be sold out throughout. It's going to be a madhouse. It's a great environment. If you haven't gone down to see the McDipper, it's at Rich South. It's totally worth it. Totally affordable to get in. And it's just great, great basketball. And anybody can win this thing. You know, it doesn't have a ton of ranked teams. It doesn't have a ton of high major D1 players. But literally, any team that wins the first round, the first day, could go on and win this thing. I mean, Thornton and Hales are good, and they're the favorites, but do not count out Bolingbroke. They are loaded with talent. Prentice Nixon can score as well as anybody in the entire state. If he gets hot, he can take them right through to the title. And there are some really interesting teams like King. We saw what they did against Kenwood. Joliet Central, who was undefeated until they fell to Sandberg. Those teams could make deep runs. And I really, really think Crete Moni could surprise some people. Dwayne Rose, you know, we talked about him a little bit, Derek Rose's nephew. This is just a fun one because anybody can win, and that really brings out the fan bases and really keeps everybody excited for the three days. If anybody can win, who would you predict to win? <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with Hales. I was really impressed with them, you know, this past week against St. Joe's. They look tough, but I think Thornton has a lot to prove. They weren't ranked in the preseason. I'm sure they weren't happy about that, and this is their home environment. They're really comfortable at the Dipper, so I'm guessing it's going to be a Hales Thornton final, but I like Hales. And as the Proviso West tournament cut from 32 teams down to 18, the 41st annual Jack Tosh Classic is sticking with the 32 team format, led by number one seed Lake Forest, which will try and go back to back. And a foul! 
This thing has been really badly seeded. Lake Forest is the clear favorite down low. They should go right through. Now up top, you got a lot of quality teams. DePaul Prep and Providence are two teams we have not talked a lot about. They both have nice wins. They're both kind of knocking on the door of the Super 25, especially Providence if Miles Boykin, who you know well from football, is back and playing anytime soon. And then you have San Ignatius and Riverside Brookfield just hit the Super 25 the last few weeks. They are both solid teams. RB has a bunch of players. We thought they were maybe a year away. San Ignatius has Riley Duty, a really good fun point guard to watch. So that top bracket's gonna be fun to see who gets through and can possibly face Lake Forest in the title game. And that'll do it for Beyond the Arc in the year 2014. We're gonna take a couple weeks off and come back in January in 2015 and recap some of the results of these holiday tournaments. For Michael O'Brien, I'm Brian Shimino. We'll see you next year.